welcome this is niger world club my name is ewase kindly subscribe to this channel like comment and also share also follow us across other social media platforms thank you very much if you live in lagos or you're just visiting there are certain places you should avoid like Myotov, Ikorodu Road, Oshodi, Apapa. Please, if you know any other places one should avoid, let us know via the comment section. Anyway, some days ago, I was on my way to Ajawa Estate around 7.30 p.m. Let me tell you how this guy operates. Someone just comes to your window and taps, asking you for money quietly like no hassle no noise just quietly taps and asks you for money when you don't give them money or you try to be defensive they signal for the other guys now someone else looking at the guy who approaches you first you think probably you guys are friends you're cool because that was actually what happened when i saw this guy talking to someone through his window uh I was like, okay, probably he sells uh, face marks or something. And then I just kept moving. Then the car, the jeep behind this other guy that was that was behind the other car, nearly it screeched to our lane, almost hitting the taxi I was in. That was when I realized that guy was actually getting robbed. And by the time I looked back, there were like three guys surrounding the car. This was like 7.38 very scary anyway there are a lot of them you just see them walking like they are regular guys they are regular guys they are not now at the end of the bridge I see police van policemen sitting inside the van you can't tell me nothing they must have told those guys what's happening there they are aware of what is happening there but I guess they're getting their own courts at the end of the day. Trust me, they're getting their own courts at the end of the day. When we're talking about insecurity in Nigeria, the police that are supposed to protect us ending their jobs. Nobody is basically doing their jobs to make Nigeria a safer place for us. This thing doesn't just happen in the night. It takes place day, like broad daylight. Take a look at this video. Um, look at the way they scattered cars. Look at the food I was trying to put out there. Oh my God. So people, people's cars. They robbed everybody. They robbed everybody. Every single car that was parked on the road was robbed. The police. So that's what happened now. I know there are many wrong things going on in the country right now. But people are really taking advantage of it. You go out, you've stressed your entire day, worked your, your butt off, and then on your way to work, you're ripped off your entire day's worth. <laughs> Broke everything. Daylight robbery. On top of my trade bridge. Ah. And then the police. They're not bothered. Be careful wherever you go to. 
and once it's getting dark don't press your phone don't bring out your phone the light from your phone attracts these guys keep your phone away keep your wallets away keep it wind up your glass the so guys this nigeria isn't as safe as you think wherever you're going to try as much as you can to be safe all right please don't forget to subscribe like share comment and also follow us across other social media platforms now update on in your bomb the young lady whose friend took to social media to create awareness when she went on the job hunt apparently she had sent her friend uh, a second voice note where she just screamed the the it escalated how many people it, it got a lot of awareness and people got involved and anyway the the kidnapper was found and unfortunately she lost her life she died apparently it wasn't just her body that was found in the shallow grave there are about 12 other graves they've got countless numbers of books with different names you have found school bags excuse me uniforms <sighs> now nah, even the coppers um, jungle boots was also amongst these things that were found <laughs>
and congratulate your friends, families, and the government and people of Kaduna State. We are happy that they have been released. Our deep appreciation to all who contributed one way or the other to this happy outcome, in particular the Defense and Security Agencies, the officials of the Federal Environment and the Government of Kaduna. We equally thank Nigerians for their prayers. I again appeal for the release of the students of Greenfield University and all other citizens held in captivity. We will leave no stone unturned in the ensuring in ensuring that Nigerians live in a country where everyone can move where and when they want without the fear of kidnapping and banditry. No life press to address the issues going on in Nigeria. Rather, our dear president is directing us, talking to us via Twitter. Is this post for the citizens that have been killed? or the kidnapped students whose parents are still waiting for their return, or the farmlands that have been vandalized and destroyed. That the president is absent from duty. We have not seen our president. We have not heard from our president, despite the daily killings that are going on and that has turned Nigeria into a killing field. That is from the National Assembly PDP Caucus. Irrespective of party differences or affiliations, we need to take back our country. We need to stand by the truth because we have no confidence in this Buhari administration. None. It is yet another day, another school adoption. Now, unspecified number of students from Abia State University, Absu, were, were adopted by unknown gunmen. This happened on Wednesday night, the 5th of May, where students and other travelers were ambushed and taken to an unknown location. Those, though luckily for two students, they were able to escape. The whereabouts of the rest are still unknown. I think this should be a wake-up call for the leaders in the Southeast. Insecurity is gradually beginning to penetrate to this other side of the country. Plus, it was Zamfara, Kaduna, and now Abia State. Insecurity rising from the Northeast to the Northwest to the north central and now to the southeast. Which way, Nigeria? My question now is who is safe in today's Nigeria? Thank you for watching. My name is Ewase. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like, comment, and also share. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.